to look at 10 great debut albums. Ahoy hoy everybody and welcome to another Sat Outside in the Glorious Sunshine video. Um, so a few weeks back I did my or 10 of my favourite debut singles. I figured what the hell I haven't done this so let's do 10 of my favourite debut albums. This isn't my top 10 um, although some of these certainly would be in my top 10 but what I've done is try to avoid uh, repeating albums that contained those debut singles that I showed in the last video. Um, it's boiling hot I don't want this stuff sat out in the sun too long so I should crack straight on. Uh, most of it's vinyl, a couple of CDs. Uh, so first up is Pearl Jam's 10. Uh, so yeah, don't have this on vinyl, but I do intend to get it. Just a great, great debut album. Not a weak track on there. And some real, you know, the singles are classics. I, I adore Alive, Black, Jeremy. Just great, 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 great debut album. An album that d definitely needs a vinyl reissue. Uh, it was released on vinyl back in the day, but that goes for quite a bit of money nowadays. And then it had a vinyl picture disc issue in 2014, but even that goes for a lot of money now. So it definitely needs a reissue on vinyl. And that's with Darkness's debut, Permission to Land. So the Darkness, there was a lot of hype about when they first came out. And I was sort of keen to find out more and then they supported Robbie Williams at Nebworth when I saw him there and they were fantastic and I bought the album and love it and I've bought all their albums ever since and been a big fan um yeah great debut contains most of the songs they're best known for uh get your hands off my woman growing on me I believe in a thing called love but again another album without a duff track on it and that's for Darkness's Permission to Land these are in no particular order, they're just the order I got them off the shelves. Uh, if you watch my Queen video ranking, you know how I feel about this album. Their debut, Queen, absolute masterpiece. Uh, Keep Yourself Alive, their first single, Liar, another single, an early truncated version of Seven Seas of Rye. But all the other tracks are absolutely magnificent and doing alright is a strong contender for my favourite Queen track. And that's... Queen's debut. Smart by Sleeper, signed edition of the reissue from 2020. Uh, great, great debut. Smart uh, Sleeper, big favourites of mine, and seen them live a number of times since they've reformed. This is just solid album, start to finish. Saw them perform it in full live last year. Yes, last year. Um, which was fantastic. In between uh, uh, Vegas, Alice in Vain were singles. Again, another, all oh, well, all these albums, there's not a duff track on them. Um, that's Smart by Sleeper. Kate Nash is Made of Bricks. Probably the album she's still best known for, well, definitely the album she's still best known for. And which basically made her career, it won her a Brit Award for Best, Fi Best British Female. Um, contains Foundations, which is the track everybody knows by her, particularly the, the Lemons line. Uh, Mouthwash, Pumpkin Soup and Merry Happy were all singles as well and all fantastic. But as I've said on all these, not a duff track on it. Wonderful, wonderful album. Are You Experienced by the Jimi Hendrix Experience? Possibly their best album, but they're all strong of the, of the real albums. But yeah, absolutely fantastic stuff. Uh, the singles, Hey Joe, Stone Free and, Pur Pur yeah. hey Joe, Stone Free and Purple Haze aren't on this, or certainly weren't originally, they are on this version and have been added onto 
many reissues and I think they're on the American version but the original British version didn't contain them but it doesn't suffer for that uh, Foxy Lady Manic Depression Red House just a great blues track uh, Fire the title track but again all all great stuff Appetite for Destruction Guns N' Roses strong contender for the greatest debut album of all time uh, just a masterpiece they've never bettered it they haven't even equaled it um, the first side is perfect Welcome to the Jungle It's So Easy Night Train Out to Get Me Mr Brownstone Paradise City solid 10 out of 10 tracks all of them second side nearly as good if not as good and contains Sweet Child of Mine of course just yeah wonderful wonderful album Gomez's Bring It On uh, love Gomez love their sound their voices everything about them really and this is such a good debut uh, Whipping Piccadilly is possibly my favourite song of theirs but Get Miles 78 Stone Wobble Here Comes the Breeze I'm getting huge glare off the white back of this um, yeah all really strong stuff absolutely love Bring It On by Gomez Blind Melon by Blind Melon. I discovered Blind Melon supporting Guns N' Roses at Milton Keynes Bowl in 1993 and absolutely loved them. Dashed home and got the cassette. Well, not literally straight away, but next time I was out and able to, got the cassette of the album. Later got it on CD and now have it on vinyl. Um, love Shannon Hoon's voice. Love their whole sound such talented musicians uh, obviously No Rain is the big hit off of this and the Blind Melon song that most people know but Change was a single as well uh, Soak for Sin I was I think and I think Tones of Home was but I might be misremembering but yeah again not a duff track on here absolutely love the whole thing and finally for this 10 Ian Jury's New Boots and Panties so I sort of came at this album backwards. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening with the lighting. It's because of the reflection in my, it's looking very dark in the camera, but hopefully it's okay for you. Um, yeah. I sort of came at this album backwards. I bought the brand new Boots and Panties compilation. That was sort of the tribute album to him after he died, uh, mainly because Robbie Williams was on it, but Paul McCartney was as well and many other great acts loved that and that made me go back and explore Ian Joey's music and of course this album and what a great album it was Ian was his son Baxter who is now a successful musician in his own right uh, so he's got the blockheads on here but they're not credited although there is a track called blockheads they weren't credited as such until the next album do, uh, do it yourself Ian did have a couple of albums, I think he had a couple of albums, Kilburn and the High Roads, I might be misremembering, they might have just released singles, but I think he released albums with them, but this is his first solo album, this is his solo debut, um, but yeah, just some great stuff on there, again, the singles aren't on here, but it makes no difference, because it's an another great album, so there you go. 10 of my favourite debut albums. Thank you for watching, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in another video. Thanks.